Are you looking to take your personal finances to the next level? You're in the right place. Welcome to the Monday Money Tip Podcast, presented by I Was Broke, Now I'm Not, with your host, Joseph Sangle. Well, welcome to the Monday Money Tip Podcast, presented by Fully Funded Life, the one that reaches millions of people. We're not saying anything that God can't make come true. Here you go. Right now, it reaches thousands. Yeah. We're excited about that. And today is episode number? 235. And? And your name is? I am Megan Hibbard. That's awesome. And it is the first Monday of 2023. That's right. Can you believe that? And we've changed up the podcast. So you're going to see some changes happen with podcasts, a little more faster pace, a little more focus. Tell everybody what we're going to talk about today. Yes. New year, new you. That's not what we're talking about, but that would be New year, new us. That would have been good. There we go. (laughs) Okay. So today we are talking about three tips for a successful 2023 part one. That's right. So for this year, we got a different little approach Mm -hmm. and every month we're going to have a different series and we're going to focus on one big thing for each one. And for these first three of this year, we're going to focus on having a successful 2023. I mean, can you imagine us doing a podcast on having an unsuccessful year? (laughs) No one wants to hear that. So we're going to help you have a very hugely successful 2023. Yep. And today we're going to talk about part one of that. And that's yes. what? So part one is establish clear goals. Right. Clear goals. Clear goals. Not clear just, financial goals. Not just goals. Well, we can talk about goals in general. Yes. Everyone needs goals. That's you right. Know, financial goals are an aspect of that. Yes. That are a very important aspect. Yes. But clear goals. And so we, we really are going to talk about goals and we, you know, you can Google setting goals and we can talk about smart goals, which are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. That's a good model. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's another one about the F's. About yes. the F's. Tell about tell everybody about the F yes. goals. I think we added a few in there just for. We time. don't want you get an F in your goals. Yes. We just want you to think about the F's. So maybe you can remember these and write them down. So we have faith, family, finances, fitness, friends, fun, and future. Right. And we want you to have goals related to all these things. Yeah. So maybe we can just kind of look at two or three of them at a time. Yeah. Of course, we're going to hyper focus on the finances mm-hmm. part of it as well. But if you think about it, what are your faith goals? Do you want to read through the Bible this year? Do you want to pray 10 minutes a day? Do you want to pray as a family before every meal? Mm-hmm. What, do you want to do a certain Bible study? Yeah. Do you want to read a certain book of the Bible? What is that? Yeah. A faith goal. Yeah, what, is your, what, is, what is a faith goal that you may have? Yeah, I want to get better about... Um, you know, spending time in the word each morning, yeah. um, praying, not just, I think I heard a pastor say one time, like a lot of times, like you think your prayer is praying, but really you're just complaining. Yeah. So I want to spend your daily more time complaining session, praying. We're, we're all humans. Yes. I don't think that's unique yeah, to you. No. I've had my complaining sessions. My I wasn't terrible. saying it was me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But here, here's my faith goal is I want to read the Bible every day. Yeah. And, you know, I had read the Bible on the YouVersion app mm. and I had a streak of 622 days and I went to church camp, family camp, <laughs> and forgot to read my Bible. And it went back to one. Like, I'm so I upset. That I, was, I was at church camp. <laughs> That's right. But yes. a faith goal, a family goal. You know, what do you want to do as a family? You yeah. know, so I have a family goal uh, that we want to enjoy at least four sit-down meals a week. Hmm. Four dinners together as a family each week. It's a family goal. Yeah. I think for us, we want to do more fun things as a family. Okay. So like... The, well, that could be a family and, and a fun a, goal. See yes. it? I like it. You're and doubling a, up there. And a future. And a future. Um, you're welcome. Uh, yeah. So the boys are getting a little bit older now, so it's easier, sometimes easier, sometimes harder to go out and do things. So we want to try to get out and do more things, more fun things that we can like make those core memories yeah. with our boys. That's great. I like that core memory thing. Mm-hmm. Family goals, very important. Things that you're going to do together, time together. Uh, fitness goals. Right. So uh, I have a goal that we want to go on four hikes in the mountains this year. I mean, it's a fitness goal. And trust me, a couple of the mountains around here. Now, these are not Rocky Mountains. These are the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. But if you go about an hour north of us, we have Table Rock State Park. You know, hour and a half away, it's Caesars Head Mountain mm-hmm. State Park or something like that. Uh, we have Parsons Mountain to the south of us. We have flat hiking around us as well. But we want to go on four of those a year. Do you yeah. have any fitness Table goals? Rock's no joke either. Yeah, well, it's, it's like, not a joke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yes, I would like to start working yeah. out again. So after having the, I was super sick with the twins, so I was not able to do anything like getting off the couch. Um, so I would like to start a fitness routine. Yeah. 
Is that include running? Is it like aerobics? Um, so Jordan runs. My, yeah. hus- my husband runs um, in the mornings, but he gets up at like, you know, 5, 30, 5, 45. Yeah, he's one and, of those highly motivated morning and, people. And it's very frowned upon if we both leave the house, you know, so we yeah. cannot do that. <laughs> Leaving the children behind. I have to stay. Yeah. Um, but we have talked about at some points if, if we have a sitter or somebody, we're running together. But I, I enjoy more like cardio, not running yeah. things. And that's my bride. She likes the aerobic. She likes yeah. doing something other than just straight line running. Yeah. Um, and so, so th- I think it's important that we, you got to, we have a downloadable PDF where yes. you can download this, uh, faith, family, finances, fitness, friends, fun, and future goals. But let's kind of talk about financial goals. And one of the things we talk about is this fully funded life ladder. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll put it on the screen here and you know, you can kind of highlight, I, I don't know if it's right here or if it's right here, but the rung number one. It's to set goals. It's real simple. Set goals. Mm. Uh, the first, most important thing about goals is to have one, <laughs> right? That's really important. You cannot achieve them if you do not have them. And the reason <laughs> we do that is so many people, they say, I want to do a budget, and we ask why. And they're like, because I should do a budget. Oh. Well, the reason we're pressing in on the why is because if you don't have a clear why, those those life goals, these all these F goals, you will give up on the what, which mm. is doing a budget, becoming debt-free. And so that's what helps you stick to stuff that's less exciting, less exhilarating. A debt freedom journey mm. takes 12 to 36 months for people. Yeah. When you think about paying off student loans, paying off a house, it requires some bigger whys mm. to stick to that journey. Yeah. And so we thought it would be interesting as we were planning that maybe we, as your, your humble uh, podcast host, <laughs> that we could share with you some of our goals this year, maybe a goal or two, yes. and talk about how that drives our financial decisions and our financial goals. Yeah. So you want to go first? Sure. All right. So one of them is we want to redo our bathrooms. So the master and the guest bathroom. So we moved into our So house. that would be bathrooms, plural. It would be bathrooms. Is the, the guest one is also a full bath? Yes. Yep. So, but it's not like a full like gut remodel. Like we're not, we're not there, but we uh, moved into our house like two and a half years ago. And there's a couple rooms that we still haven't touched. So mm-hmm. the master bathroom was one. And then we painted the guest bathroom, which is the boys' room bathroom. But we haven't done anything. So I want to, like, paint those. And I want to add, like, um, the boys, I want to add, like, a board and batten with hooks Ooh. and paint, like, part of it blue. And I have, like, big hopes and dreams for that room. And then for ours, they, it's, like, tan, like, threw up in there. Yeah. And I'm not a fan of tan. Okay. Personally, if you like tan, I'm super glad for you. You would love our master bathroom. Note to self, Megan does not <laughs> like tan. No tan on the podcast today, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and so we want to like, we want to paint in there. And we've, we've heard, we love our shower, but it's tan. Tan, yes. like uh, tile. So we've heard you can paint tile. Have you heard this? No. There's kits that you can paint the tile. I'm not a fan of home reno projects myself, <laughs> doing them myself. So I like doing them. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah. That is awesome. But the question that comes to mind is if you're going to do that, does that cost money? Yes. Well, it costs money. So it therefore becomes a financial goal yes. as well as a family goal. Yeah. Maybe you view it as fun goal. I do view right? it as fun. There it we is, go. It is fun. And when you go into your bathroom now, you'll be like, Ah, instead of, oh. So do, uh, how would you fund that goal? Would you say I've accumulated some money and savings kind of for the house and pull from it? Or are you currently saving month after month for that? A little both. Okay. So we have a house and home reno fund that we fund each month. Okay. So each month money goes in there. We love doing house projects. So we just built, um, we built a board and batten wall in our like entryway where we can hang up like backpacks and we're going to do like a mud bench with shoes. So like wow. that was something we did. We built a full wall of like built in cabinets and a shiplap fireplace and like the fireplace wow. insert. So like we love doing like projects around our house. Um, is we mean you and a mouse that you have no, or does that mean you and Jordan so both love it? So me and my husband Jordan, Good yes. for you. So we both, and it's a way we can spend time <laughs> together and we enjoy doing it together and it's like something that we can do bonding wise. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my project in the single household is we're finally going to do the close in landscaping at mm-hmm. our house. So we built our house all, seven years ago That's crazy. and I immediately, I 
put the trees in because I bought all these trees and they were maybe three, four year old trees. I bought them at Lowe's, mm-hmm. you know, the nineteen, twenty dollar ones. Yeah. They're probably a hundred dollars now with inflation. Who knows what it is? Yeah. But you know, one person wanted to sell me some trees at fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars a pop. But you know, I've seen and observed. Uh, that if you buy smaller trees, they become very large very fast anyhow, mm. and I can wait, <laughs> especially for that much monetary difference. Plus, they're easier to handle. Yeah. And so we planted, I think, 19, 20-some trees immediately. I planted a fruit orchard immediately mm. that's just now starting to produce because I bought two-year-old little bare roots things. Mm. But here's what I know. Uh, the close-in landscaping, I'm going to do a little bit of it, but I want to pay people to do this. I want to stimulate someone else's economy. (laughs) And so it's become a financial goal, and we've been saving for it for a while. We did one big piece last year. Mm. We did it early last year. We paved our driveway. That's a big deal. And that's a big deal when you Mm. think about a 330-foot-long driveway and you're paving 10-foot wide. Mm. That set us back. (laughs) So that kind of emptied the project's account, and we've been working on replenishing that. And so I'm going to do a little bit of it myself, but the vast majority of it is going to be I'm going to pay a professional to do it. Uh, There's two benefits to that. It gets done like that. Mm -hmm. And number two, like I don't have the frustration of of that because I'm not not exactly very good at that, especially the close-in stuff because in the South – we have this stuff called creeping Bermuda grass, mm. and it gets in everything. It's creeping Bermuda and centipede. I don't know which it is. I think it's Bermuda. But it just crawls in everything. You cut <laughs> pieces, and then it goes into 700 pieces. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So we're saving for it. So we're just kind of sharing a couple things. It turns out both of them are home-related. Yeah. Seems to be a lot of people's projects. Yeah. And so if you want to have a successful 2023, you've got to set those as goals. What are the goals for you? And then that has to be included in your budget. Mm -hmm. Like you've got to make sure you put that money aside. I I just recently had another person ask a question. You know, we're thinking about just cashing out a retirement account to pay for this home project. Should we do that? No. (laughs) It's called a retirement account. And the problem with so many people is they can't keep their hands off of it. They see that money and they they, they don't care that they're going to get taxed on it. And they're going to pay a 10% early withdrawal penalty because, hey, at least we're not doing debt. But you're robbing yourself of your future. So we really encourage you, plan out your goals. That's why it's number one on the ladder, the first step, and then set financial goals related to it. So that's a really good flow. I find the opposite doesn't work very well. Don't go look at your financial account and then set your goals from that, especially if you're just getting started. Yeah. You have $7 in your, <laughs> you're going to have very big, big goals, but let those bigger goals, those life goals, those family goals, those faith goals, your fitness goals, your friends goals, your fun goals, your future goals, drive your financial mm. goals. Does that That's make good. sense? That's good. Okay. So Megan. Yes. I'd like to hear your take. Yes. It's Megan's take. Megan's take. Yeah. Okay. So for me, my take on this is, Clear goals help you accomplish big dreams. So if you have big dreams, big goals, you need to have clear goals to help you accomplish that. So really for me, the thing is planning is key. So put in the work in the beginning, planning, um, plan out your 2023 about how, what things you want to accomplish that year, um, what things you want to accomplish in five years, how you can make that happen. So planning is key and planning with clear goals can help you get there. So what would be your single angle? Yes. Well, the single angle mm-hmm. is this. Put time on the calendar right now. Mm-hmm. Put it on the calendar. Uh, if you do not have these goals written down, put time on your calendar. Can I, can I suggest, can I be bold enough to say do it today? It's the start of the year. I mean, if you're listening to this on the day we released it, it's the second day of the year. It's your first work day of the year. If you're fully there, you know, coming off of New Year's, mm -hmm, might not have recovered yet from the holidays. But here's what I would encourage you. Put time on your calendar immediately. Mm -hmm. Put at least an hour. Listen, your life is worth it to spend an hour thinking about and dreaming about the goals for the year. Write them down. And if you have big, giant goals that, man, it literally would take the million-dollar lottery ticket to fund, then figure out what snapshot piece, what piece of that goal you want to achieve in this year. Mm. I like to build on Megan's take. Make it clear. Write it down. You'll be so glad that you did. Yep. Hey, right. we really encourage you to download the PDF. Yep. That's your action point. Mm-hmm. Download the PDF. Write down those goals. You'll be so glad that you did. Yeah. 
So we hope you guys have a great Monday. Thank you so much for joining us for this first episode. If you have any success stories that you've accomplished, we would love to hear about them. So make sure you email us at info at fullyfunded.life. Awesome. Get fired up, everybody. Happy Monday. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Monday Money Tip Podcast presented by I Was Broke, Now I'm Not. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review and subscribe. And for more great content and to stay up to date, visit IWBNIN.com. We'll catch you next time.